Bomb bay doors open. Stand by for a bomb trilly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Truth, you're, you're you're kind of a drag. You, you got people staring at us. You, you, you dress kind of funny. You didn't wear any shoes in here. As a matter of fact, I don't think you're allowed to come in here without shoes on. So why don't you just uh, follow me? We'll find your I up. see a lot of people without shoes. Yeah, where? Uh, well, not the players, the Rogers, the ones who have no money to play. I don't think you can. I never noticed that before. Oh, that's a, that's a game. Yeah, well, I, I, you could call it the game. You know, it's, it's a special uh, high stakes. Gambling. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it gambling. I, I guess some people might, but it's, it's a game. It's a high stakes. Uh, yeah, that's part of the game. Uh, why don't you go back and look for yourself, okay? Don't you know me? Our children? Uh, what, what do you mean, our children? Ah! Oh, excuse me. I am in a hurry. What, again? Of course, again. Uh, look, lady, I, uh, I don't, I don't want any trouble here, okay? So, uh, whatever is, is wrong, whatever your emotional problem is, I, I just said you wouldn't drag me into it. You'll be fine. It's Maura. Of course, more. You got cash? Listen, the game is written. Cash? I need to borrow. You borrowed the last time. I know, I know. I've still got collateral. What collateral? Amber waves of grain, purple mountains of majesty. You used the land the last time. I gotta have something else. How about the people? What people? 230 million human beings. Hard-working, inventive, freedom-loving, the best people in the world. You'd use them as collateral? Well, why not? It's them we're protecting. You got their consent? Of course they voted for us. No. <laughs> I think they, they just didn't like the other guy. <laughs> they know about the game, and no one has said anything. Oh, except for a few nuts. You always get a few nuts. It's true. Okay. <laughs> sign here. Yes, sir. Thank you. You know, the game is really getting hot. I mean, really. Yeah? If you get a chance, come on back and take a look. After all, you're paying for it. Back on those poverty programs. 
bad for the people. That makes my re-election shaky. It's hard to run those guys than it is on us. It isn't as if we had a choice here. Besides, temporary. They will make a counter move. You think so? Without question. What do you suggest? That we double again. But can we afford it? Our people. People are used to sacrifice. I promised them more refrigerators, cars, better television sets. And you but... will deliver them after we have made them secure. We are a persistent people. We are a courageous people. And you, you will go down in history as one of our great leaders. Great because you didn't flinch. You didn't pull back. Just as at Leningrad and Stalingrad. That, that, Varichi. It makes sense the way you say it. <laughs> Uh, that was a good play, Ivan. Ivan, Sam. Miss Ivan. Uh, thank you. Brother? Ready. Ready? Ready. Hey, Jim. Six. Yep. Four, three, two, a team begin. Push! Excuse me. Excuse me, I want to see the game that has everyone so excited. Oh, sorry, excuse me, folks. Here, let me through. Here, come here, come here, down here. It, it's all right, it's all right, folks. She's, she's new. <laughs> Players can see. How do we know who's winning? Well, we don't actually. But uh, it's, see, it's a kind of a, 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 a back and forth thing. Uh, you got it. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> just, just, just watch the, the players and the, and, and the advisors. Advisors? Yeah. Well, uh, see, it's it's real complicated. But just look at the expressions on their faces. That that tension. <laughs> There's a mounting. Uh, what did you call it? Fear? No, no, it's not fear. Oh, hold on, all right, all right. She didn't know. I see fear. I feel fear in this room, in this building. I feel fear from all of you. Hey, lady, shut up. We're trying to watch the game. Does anybody here know what kind of game we're watching? Shh. All right, all right. Now you've done it, okay? Now listen to me. We are not, I repeat, not to interfere. I'm not interfering. I just want to understand what's going on. What's wrong with that? You're just like a woman. Yeah. What? Well, uh, I don't know. Up there. What are you playing? In place. Under the ice pack. <laughs> right under your nose. In place and function. Pardon me if I don't share your enthusiasm. Aren't you going to compliment me on my play? Yes. Oh, hell. Looks like it's heating up, sir. It sure is. I need more money. You tapped out, friend. Credit. You give credit to the other side. I got collateral. I got collateral. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, woman. Uh, no, no. Uh, you must be new here. This is a restricted area. Well, I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Well, someone will explain it to you. Nobody seems to know. <laughs> really? Really. Well, in a nutshell. Here are their ICBMs, their SS-18, my Minutemen, and the intermediate job. There, an hour. And on the plane, their backfires and my beats. Oh, 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 oh,
my B-52 line, my B-52. That went on the south. Their SSN-20. And uh, my Polaris and Trident. Mitten, Polaris and Trident. Yes, you know, nuclear missiles. Oh, no. Oh, they're real. I mean, if they weren't real, I mean, good heavens, woman, what kind of a game would that be? Phase two in operation. Well, they didn't like that last play, did they? <laughs> I mean, did you see the look on these kids? to help me. Um, do you know what's going on in there? Yeah, the game. No, it's not a game. They're not playing a game. <laughs> yeah, they are. No! You know, the, the lights, they represent nuclear missiles, real nuclear missiles. <laughs> We've got to stop this before any more of our children get killed. What, are you missing a silicon chip? That game is the engine of our economy. Besides that, I... I get a commission on each token I sell. I don't know. You don't know. None of you know. Hey, hey, you can't go in there. Yes, I can. Are you Sam! Sam, don't you know me? Opera. Sorry. All right, all right. Get her out of here. I know her. Fine. She's a do gooder, propagandist, troublemaker. No, look, look. She's, she's not a bad sort, okay? She just talks kind of weird. What is it you want, ma'am? I just want to understand the game better. I've been hearing things I can't believe. I want you to tell me it isn't so. As a child in my village, I remember her. She sounded just like her. Let her talk. Maybe she'll go away. They never go away. He's right, sir. She could be a threat to us. Sam, look at me closely. And she just wants to understand. We do have to communicate with the people. What do you want to know? Well, these nuclear missiles that you use in the game, how many do you have? Classified information. Can you tell me? That is state secret. But I can tell you how many he has. And I can tell you how many he has. How many does he have? Missiles or warheads? Which kills people? Warheads. How many? About 7,000, give or take a few hundred. How many does he have? About the same. And you'll use them in the game to kill people. Oh, please, madam. We use them to threaten the other side. We don't use them to kill. At least we don't want to. What do you think we are? The purpose of the warheads is to destroy, right? Right. But you don't want to use them because that would mean killing people. Right. And the whole game is made up of the threat to use them. Correct. Now you've got it. That doesn't make sense. It actually requires a rather sophisticated intelligence to grasp the underlying logic. How many warheads would it take to destroy the Soviet Union? About 100, give or take a few. Ours are very powerful, the very best that money can buy. And how many warheads would you need to destroy the United States? About the same. Ours are as good as theirs. 100, and yet you both have... Seven thousand? I don't get it. As I stated earlier, it takes a rather sophisticated intelligence. Nonsense! It's simple. We have them because they have them, and they have them because we have them. Our national security requires it. Are you more secure because you have them? That's not the point. 
point is, we have always been number one, and we will continue to be number one no matter what the cost. Our sentiments exactly. On the button, as you say. What is the cost? Our defense budget is public knowledge. So is ours. You conceal more than you reveal. So do you. Will someone please answer me and tell me how much this game costs? Well, actually, the figures keep shifting. Back in 1982, the world spent $520 billion on armaments. It's uh, sort of increased since then, if the truth be known. Eh, a lot of factors, a lot of factors. $520 billion? That's the price of freedom, ma'am. The great American said, we will pay any price, bear any burden to assure the success and continuation of liberty. If my memory serves me right, another great American said every dollar spent on bullets is bred out of the mouth of a starving child. It is not apropos. What, what does that have to do with anything? Do you know, in our world right now, 500 million people are suffering from malnutrition and every 60 seconds, 21 children die of starvation? I don't want to hear about it. I find it very depressing. Where are these children? In the Soviet Union, and in the United States, in India, Somalia, Bangladesh, Ethiopia, Egypt, Mauritania. Ivan, please listen to me. Have you ever seen a starving child with its swollen belly and its Skin pulled so tight over each rib you can count every one. Arms and legs as thin as pencils, no flesh anywhere. What they need are bigger and better birth control programs. He's making it all out, Paul. Don't listen to him. They are dying because you insist on playing this obscene game. They die because you divert the world's resources. Instead of feeding children, you make weapons. Your logic is faulty. There is no connection between the two. There is every connection between the two. Please, listen to me. The world's resources are limited. What you spend on weapons and arms, you can't spend on children. It's as simple as that. Stop! You make my heart feel heavy. Very heavy. It's the truth. It is not the truth. It's a fabrication of an untrained mind. But what she says is so true. But of you, not of me. I don't oppress people. Right. You exploit me. You reject the fatherhood of God. You reject the brotherhood of man. I defend the world's freedom. I defend the world's truth. You use the poor to get power. You use the poor to make a profit. You feed on their misery. Lying hypocrite. Blood-sucking imperialist. I'm not occupying Afghanistan or Poland. Neither am I. I was invited in. Ah, by your own stooges, not by the people. For centuries, we had to take it from you imperialists. French, Swedes, Japanese, Chinese, British, Germans. I'm an American. I'm getting to you. From 1918 to 1920, you had 7,000 soldiers in our motherland. We had to put up with it because we were disorganized. Yet the new government, weak, but no more. We are now as smart as you are. We are as cultured as you are. And we are as strong as you are, because our weapons are just as sophisticated as you. I warn you, we are not taking it anymore. Yeah? What are you going to do? You know damn well what I will do. I've got you ringed with one hostile move. Oh, I have enough thing and mother to send you a million of thousand times. Look, I'm a good guy. Don't get me oh. A good guy, you're decadent, dissipated, and beat me. It says you have done Don't make me blow you out of the water, Ivan. It's bluffing. Go to the left. 
right here as you do. And she's making a lot more sense. No, no, no. The hell do you think Just you are? Oh, well, if you put it that way. <laughs> Ivan, Sam, you've both done very well in the world. You're both important leaders. I'm proud of you. But why have you forgotten who you are and where you came from? Look at me. I gave you birth. I nursed you, bathed you, clothed you when you were little boys. I tucked you into bed and read you stories to keep away the night. You're members of the same family, part of each other, not Russian and American, communist and capitalist at the deepest level, but human beings, brothers. And that means every other human being is your brother or sister too. Do you want to keep food from them? Do you want to threaten their lives? Do you want to endanger the planet on which we all live? Who are you? I am life, I am reality, I am you. I think she's a CIA plant. One hell of a clever KGB trick, sir, if you ask me. You could end this insane arms race. I suggest a defensive first strike at once. Well, what? A defensive first strike, sir. Hit them before they hit us. I always wanted to visit the San Diego Zoo and see those beautiful movie stars in Hollywood. The Bandit thinks only of his own country. I'm sure I like this. Could we hit their missiles and not hit them? I'm afraid not. Five million in the first salvo, so we'll give or take a few thousand. There has to be another way. Sam, Ivan, it takes two to make a fight, and it will take two to build the peace, to build a world where everyone's rights are respected, and no person need live in fear of a world where everyone can find a job and every child has enough to eat have to trust each other and you will have to be worthy of each other's trust like brothers.
Okay. What do you want to do? Just this election goodbye. The people won't stand for it. The people may just be one. Sam? Ivan? Mm -hmm. 